but yeah, we got some good snow here. Just went to AutoZone right now. Um, pick up, I picked up the seals for uh, my rear wheel bearings. And uh, yeah, I'm actually, I can't wait to finish that uh, rear end of uh, 123. It's a little dark here, but I just wanted to show you how nice it is, you know. It's snowing kind of crazy right now, but it's probably hard to see on the camera. And uh, Yeah, I just came from over there, and what I'm holding in here is actually that uh, seal. I did order another one, uh, but this is the one they had in stock, so I'm going to have to pick up the second one uh, the next day. So, and then, uh, yeah, so make sure, you know, there's going to be more videos, as always, you know, I'm just, I always say that, you know, but of course I always post videos, it's just, I apologize that there's, uh, you know, I don't have much time, you know, for everything, but, you know, I try to post as much as possible, and, uh, you know, like, you know, I just, uh, right now it's New Year's, and, you know, it, it was just Christmas, and uh, I don't have much time to work on the car right now, but after the New Year's, you know, I promise I'll finish everything, and, you're gonna see everything in the videos. So, uh, I'm gonna try to find a place where there's more light so you guys can see my face at least. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna basically, you know, uh, tell you about uh, 123. So, uh, I'm just currently uh, I'm waiting on some more parts. You know, I've been rebuilding the uh, CV axles and everything. Uh, and you know, I haven't posted that video yet, but it's gonna be up uh, uploaded soon um, and uh, I'm also gonna be working on my wheel bearings. That's why I got this uh, seal because uh, In the rear there's also you know, there's they have the tapered uh, two tapered bearings and uh, There's uh, inner and outer seals So there's quite a bit of work. It's waiting on me. So you know, I appreciate your uh, you watch my videos and all that, and uh, thank you so much for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. So I did wash my uh, silver car a couple of days ago because uh, it was full of salt and everything. And right now it just started snowing again, so there's going to be more and more salt. So I have to make sure I wash it soon also whenever there's winter there's salt you know you gotta try to wash your car as uh, as much as possible there's some traffic over there Kind of cleaned it from snow. Thank God it's not uh, frozen yet, but tomorrow morning it's gonna be frozen. Um. Anyways, so I'm just gonna go get ready, and uh, I need to help a friend out today. Uh, he has uh, an older uh, Ford van, and uh, you know they just did the rear drum brakes on it, and uh, recently, and uh, he thinks that something came loose because it's like making a noise or something so I'm gonna go help him out um, we'll see what's going on right, I apologize if you, can, if you can barely see me but uh, this is the best I can do right now uh, what I was gonna say uh, yeah so the 123 project is coming along uh, you know I'm pretty happy and uh, you know there's uh, just waiting on parts like I said you know, there's a couple more CV boots that, uh, you know, have to come in and I have to, you know, rebuild my, you know, CV axle. I already did rebuild uh, one, but there's one more that I have to rebuild. 
and uh, you know like always you know I film everything so you guys are gonna see everything and uh, what else uh, so after you rebuild the axles I have to let's see I mean the brakes are pretty much ready you know I just have to do those bearings you know before before I install the rebuild axles I have to uh, you know, remove the bearings, replace the seals, and re-grease the bearings. So that's really important, you know. I'm not replacing the bearings, you know, themselves, because they're tapered, and, you know, you can just uh, remove them and you can uh, re-grease them. You don't have to replace them unless they have, like, a, a you know, I don't know, unless they make noise and stuff, you know. Uh, mine didn't make noise. They had a little a little bit of play, you know, when I got the car, and so I just wanted to fix that. And uh, the way you get rid of that play is, you know, you just turn that uh, special nut, and you actually need a special tool for it. I already bought it, so I'm gonna show you everything once again. But this is just a quick update. You know what's going on with the car. You know, like you saw the last video, pretty much. Uh, I, uh, you know, installed the rear springs and stuff, and reinstalled the, you know, the stock uh, shocks and all that. So right now I'm just, you know, like I said, you know, I have to wait for parts. You know, and we're gonna be ready to put everything back, and rear end is gonna be pretty much done. You guys can see me better right now with the light inside the car. So uh, my plan right now is uh, I'm just gonna go home and um, I'm gonna wait for my friend to come and uh, you know basically pick me up or you know we'll see if there's any something serious you know with that uh, Ford van then we're gonna have to go to his garage and inspect you know and see you know what's what's wrong you know if it's something quick maybe I can do it in a parking lot you know it's gonna suck because it's uh, it's snowing like crazy but you know maybe we're gonna get it done and uh, I'm just going to show you a uh, temperature right now really quick. So here's a temperature, negative 10 degrees, almost negative 11 degrees of Celsius. So it's uh, it's pretty much almost like, uh, I don't know how much it's in uh, Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh crap, <laughs> I'm so used to uh, uh, Celsius. Anyways, you guys can convert that. But uh, uh, it was uh, much colder yesterday, it was negative uh, 18 of Celsius. And uh, yeah, so you guys... Uh, Whoever is, you know, in uh, northern states, you know, uh, Midwest, uh, East Coast, you know, make sure you stay warm. Okay, see him over there. There was like this piece that was like loose inside uh -huh. like the bearing. The, inside the bearing? Inside, not the bearing, like the hub. Oh, okay. Cause, like you know how there's like the the things the rims come off and there's a hub inside, uh -huh, uh -huh. but you can't see the brakes. Uh -huh. So it was just loose in there and it was like rubbing against the rotor the whole time. Oh, okay. So my dad thinks it's the same the thing backing, again. The backing plate probably or something. I, yeah. I have no idea. Okay, let's just uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to it. You know, yeah. just let's try. Let's see how it is. If it's like a big thing, let's just. I mean, see that. Okay, let me quickly get out. You keep going. Can't hear much because of snow. <laughs> Okay. Can't hear much now. Can't hear much now, but yeah, I did hear something rubbing, you know. So uh, I'm gonna, if you can back up to my car, I'm gonna look underneath, okay. and then uh, if not, then I'm gonna grab tools and you know we're gonna have to do something, okay? Oh shit! Hey, hold on! Oh damn! Okay, just uh, go slowly backwards now. Okay, never mind. I, I thought because uh, when you were backing up, the wheel was like locked up. No, the wheel does get locked up. It does get locked yeah, up? Yeah, like I was turning the car and then it got locked up. Uh -huh. And then, and then it's, it was like really, really loud and then it went away. And then sometimes I'm driving and then there's like no noise at all. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, we're going to have to grab tools and uh, keep going, okay? Okay. 
check it out. It's, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna show everybody. You wanna move the light a little bit so you can see? Yeah. There we go. I can hold the light. Oh, that's better. Yeah, it's crazy. So you did, you did have the noise before you did the brakes too. Huh? Your bearing is not loose though. Yeah, this tool's pretty neat. I like it. Except that part. <laughs> Get stuck. Yeah, it's much better than outside. You know, That's snow. true. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, we can do the heater over here. It'll keep us warm, bro. I'll, I'll do it in like you a minute. You can probably keep it straight like this. Oh, yeah. like this? Yeah, it's fine. As people are watching, we'll be like this. Oh, I got you. I thought you wanted to get the angles, <laughs> no, bro. Like this. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you can go check it out today or whatever. It's uh, should be in one of the playlists or something. <laughs> This little this little cap is what I'm talking about. What is this called? That's for the for the bear. Okay. Oh shit! It's so hot in here, bro. Something. Look, look my, at it. Uh, my cold. Uh, oh shit! Hand. It's like steaming. Look, it's steaming. I put it in there. Something with the brakes there for me. See if I can take this off. So you see, you see here, did you hear it? I feel I like there's something, something loose in there. Yeah. That's what my dad was saying. He's like, as soon as you take that cap off, you'll know. There we go. That's what he's talking about. That's the adjuster. That's it. And he's like, just remove that because they keep putting that back. Oh shit, man. And that locks up the rotor. That's what he was. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. What the hell is that, bro? There's a bolt loose in there. <laughs> that's fucked up. That's uh, that's your uh, the top. shoes. Oh Part shit! Of the shoe. It just all fell apart. That's no good. <laughs> the bearing. Uh, at least the bearing's good, dude. Damn. Yeah, cause uh. No, we're lucky, bro. I wasn't making a noise like that. Like, this this is uh this guy is the adjuster. Adjuster. It's important. I don't know yeah. what lever he was talking about. Be, so it's not the spring, cause the spring is fine. I right? see the spring, the spring right? Spring is fine. Yeah. Okay. Shit. How do we get these parts? I think Riley will have them. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. I mean, kind of, I don't know. You're saying, they, I mean, they look kind of fresh here, but they... In the summer. They just look, they're, they're pretty bad. Look at the, the inside of the drum. Oh, shit, dude. I had no idea. That's what you told me. Yeah, yeah see how it is? Yeah. There's, like, so many gouges and yeah. stuff. But, like, the noise, like... It's been back ever since, and he's been driving on it. With the noise, right? Yeah, with the noise, because it goes away, comes back, goes away. Now it just wasn't going away, so he was like, I'll just take it back. Because, I don't know, maybe he still has the warranty on it. How, how long is the warranty? I cannot tell you. I mean, it's... Maybe they... He has maybe a receipt. Some, some shops don't give you the warranty at he all. He has a receipt, so he, that's what he was saying. Should I just tell him to take it back? They're, they'll probably say something like, oh... I have it on video, like we opened it. <laughs> right, right. It's crazy. But yeah, I mean, uh, right now it's just uh, the only thing that you need is uh, you need the drum, you need the shoes, and you need a uh, you need the adjuster. This this is the adjuster. What does the adjuster do? I uh, adjust the the clearance between the shoes. I got so you. So it's press them out or in. Oh, okay. Like that. Got you. That's what it does. Because right now, I think. 
is gonna be pretty bad. Cause right now it's gonna be metal on metal. Something wasn't right, like when they were putting it on, probably. They probably did something, but I don't know. I'm not sure. This guy. Let's get, let me get this guard back to my house. I don't know. What do you want to do? It's going to be metal on metal. There's no way. Because yeah, that shit is loose, dude. See, like this adjuster Where did that bolt here. come from? This is the adjuster. It screws into here. No, no, no I'm talking about the, oh, the bolt. Yeah. Uh, it goes like, like this. Okay. So you're going to need a new adjuster. Okay. Yes. And new sure. shoes. Yeah, so this wasn't done right or something, I don't know. This piece of the shoe just fell off. Okay, disassembled this thing. I'm gonna clean these spots now. Um, it's probably gonna need a wheel cylinder too, since it's frozen. This doesn't look too bad. Yeah. This all just came apart. Yeah, see, the, this, this spring was uh, somewhere here before, and it was uh, it was all messed up. Maybe yes. All right, hold this. I'm gonna put this drum. So you said we're gonna, your dad has a new one, right? Somewhere? Yeah, it's like not brand new, but it's like good. All right. We're leaving the old drum on because we'll be changing it later. He's gonna go in and pump the brakes. And this is the old adjuster. No, so it was good. broken, flopping inside. You're pumping the brakes? Hold up. You want me to start the car? No, don't start it. Pump it? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so uh, everything is done. Like I said, uh, we're gonna go back and. Uh, after some time, we're gonna uh, redo the rear drums. Right now, it's just temporary fix because these ones are, they just came apart, and there was this uh, adjuster that was flopping inside, and rubbing against the drum. So whoever did the uh, brake job on the rear of this van didn't do it the right way. So I'm gonna take it on a test drive, make sure everything is fine. I'm gonna tighten the wheel first. Okay, so finish that right rear um, drum brake. Uh, like I said, we're gonna have to come back to this and uh, redo uh, both rear uh, drum brakes. We have to put the new wheel cylinders and probably new brake lines over there. Um, I was gonna replace that wheel cylinder on the right rear side today but when I tried to loosen up the bolt um, actually loosen up the brake line that goes to the wheel cylinder it uh, you know the bolt started spinning when the, with the line so I didn't want to twist it off or break it so we might have to get a new brake line and uh, new wheel cylinder but for now it's gonna be fine yeah you know there's a we did put the, uh, the springs back together and all that and they're all in the right spot. Um, what else? Yeah, it's that was today's job, <clears throat> and looks like it's not uh, grinding that much anymore. It's just the wheel is still kind of stiff when you try to turn it because uh, um, the wheel cylinder is locked up, like it's not moving, and that's why uh, the shoes cannot move freely. Anyways. You can see my pretty face. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching and uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel and uh, we'll see you in the next one.